Welcome everybody. Welcome to the Tomb of Illumination. I initially had illumination, but I was put right about what the ill means. It's fake. Fake truth. That's the illuminati. Fake truth. Liars. Deceit. Illumination. It's a good word for the earth. And the tomb. The enlightened. The enlightened people will understand this. And that's what the earth is. It's come from creation. The place of rest. Perfection. That's why earth has been. Exists. It's come from the place of perfection. State of rest. <coughs> at the right resonant frequency. Anyway, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, go check them out. But this one is about the moon. How it works in the flat earth model. And the sun and the stars. Uh, we are told that this, the moon moves... The fastest of the celestial bodies moves quicker. I think they made it that way. It moves quicker through the um, constellations, through the zodiac sign. How does this work on the flat earth design? Well, <clears throat> you wouldn't say it's the quickest because it's actually the slowest. It's because the stars and the sun race ahead, they're leaving the moon behind. Okay? What happens is over one month, the sun does two to one. With the moon. So if the sun's raced ahead with the stars, the moon's falling back, falling through all those moving constellations that are flying ahead. So the moon ends up going through the whole set of constellations in one month. When the sun has to take a whole year because it's flowing with the stars. But over the whole year, it laps the whole the stars. So there's the there's the two to one at the end of the year. Okay? False science. The moon moving fast. It does not move fast. It moves slow. It might go through the constellations fast. Backwards. No, it is the slowest of the celestial bodies. The sun and the stars are moving ahead, leaving the moon behind to drift backwards through the signs over the month. Why or how over one month? Because the sun laps the moon over one month. They're continuously flowing around the celestial gap here. The sun's racing ahead, pulling all the constellations with it, or moving with it, and the sun's dropping, the moon's dropping back. Going through all the constellations that way. That's how it works. The sun is quickest, it laps the stars over one year plus a little more, and this little more, this little extra, is what we call the precession of the equinoxes. When the sun creeps a little forward each equinox, there is no bullshit tilting, wobbling, spinning ball earth. Total garbage. Look at it. They have to put it on a bit of a tilt, don't they? 23.5 degrees. Why is that? To suit reality. 23.5 degrees. The, the ecliptic plane goes like this from the centre of the flat earth. And then up like this. Continuously going like this. Nothing to do with that ball. Take that out of it. Wow, how does a ball just end up on a 23.5 degree tilt? <laughs> a load of rubbish. So, there's your flat earth design. So these are the magnetic cycles, 2 to 3 ratio, 2, 3, one magnetic cycle of infinity. This is what phi actually is, but no one's taught it. The magnetic cycle comes in around the Arctic, comes back out around the south. Okay, so it's always going like this. The infinity, oops. Infinity, magnetic field all the way around like this. But one full cycle from the north to the south and back again is this. 
Every man sees one in his arc of horizon. He only gets one view from the south to the north. He'll get, he'll get his one image of the sun or any celestial body. It's just how it is. His own personal arc, his own personal dome. And the focal point, his eyes within that dome, because it all comes from the centre here. It's all reflected out. So, we do not see reality, which is back in there. We just see our image out here in, in, the, in the magnetic field cycle, our arc of horizon. So you could say we're a, a fraction of this, bring it right back to one, just having one cycle. That's all we'll see in our one arc of horizon. Anyone around here will see the same image. He just gets one of his images from north to south. That, that's how it works, everybody. It's simple. Earth is flat and has a dome. It's, a, it's like an, a flux. A flux has a dome over it. Okay, We're on that flat earth. It's pretty straightforward. Everything just drifts around here because all coming from that centre, reflected out. All these magnetic field lines here, Millions of them, all the way around, all the way around, everywhere, all the way around. The sun is anywhere on this field. You could say the whole thing's lit up, but man, wherever he is in his own arc of horizon, will only see one image, like the photon from the proton, the actual image, one image. Or if someone's further out south, he'll get his image. Just the way it is. It's we're just a part, a, a little slice of Earth. We've got the overall picture here. And we just take a part, one little piece, and we're it. So it's our one little piece, one field cycle, from north to south. So if you've got your camera, you're only going to get one. If you had it going all year long, you're going to get one sun and a lemma. If he takes it from here, he'll get his one sun zanalimma. This guy could take this one from here, and he'll get one. He'll get one. The skull will get one. The skull will get one. It's just the way it is. So you cannot live on a ball if this is the ratio. That's symmetrical. Where's the two to three ratio? They don't even understand a magnetic field. There has to be this ratio for this, this stronger field to rush to the weak field and the weak field to rush to the strong field. That's what keeps it going. But because we have the dielectric gap of avoidance, they never find rest. They never find rest to find, otherwise all life would, would cease to exist on our realm. That's a no-brainer. I mean, science should be stopping right now and going, oh my gosh, we've cocked up. Time to rewrite all the books. But they're just ignoring me. Just ignoring me. They just want to keep teaching your children garbage. That's it guys, that's the way it works. Moon dropping back, sun and stars flying ahead. The sun laps the moon over one month. And then the sun laps the stars over one year. And that little creep forward of the sun is the precession of the equinoxes. No tilting, spinning, wobbling BS ball. That's a quick and easy video. Thumbs up if you like it, or the likes or whatever. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't seen my videos before, go check them out. Cheers.